Welcome back to the APP Dallas Open. Our men's doubles gold medal match is set, and now it's time to focus on women's doubles here in Rockwall, Texas. Our very first women's semifinal coming your way shortly. Before we get to that, we want to tell you about our Partake Community Hero. This week's Partake Community Hero is David Price. David has helped hundreds of new players to the sport, providing them with the basic understanding of the sport. There's David. David's reach can be felt from Dallas to Rockwall. So cheers to you, David. And if you're as unfamiliar with the Dallas metro area as I am, that's really far. I sat in traffic <laughs> from DFW to Rockwall yesterday to make sure you that know, I could get here. And uh, that means his reach is massive. So thank you so much, David. We are honored to have you as our Partake Community Hero. Yeah, Welcome. When, when, when the state is the same size as most <laughs> countries or multiple countries uh, combined in Europe, then, yeah, it's, it's, it's a large area. And Dallas is a massive city within said state. <laughs> so, women's semifinal number one features some familiar faces in new partnerships. This is Susanna Barr. If you're a fan of the APP Tour, you know this woman well. 46 years old out of Boise, Idaho, and a staple here on Championship Court. She's partnered up with somebody you may not be as familiar with, Glauca Carvajal Lane. She is playing here on Championship Court with Susanna Barr. She is the partner of Brandon Lane, another professional here on the APP Tour and a great player in her own right, has been working on her game and she's getting a chance here on Championship Court. But this duo has quite the duo to face. On the other side of the net, it is Jill Braverman and Megan Fudge. There's Jill getting warmed up there, 34 years old, out of Newport Beach, California. She's partnered up yet again with Megan Fudge. Fudge had had won more medals than any other woman on the APP Tour in 2023, 36 years old, originally out of Germany. Now, most consistently, parks her RV in Bel Air, Florida. She and her family traveling around the country playing pickleball and doing so in their RV. Her and her husband, Ryla DeHart, their two kiddos, Lily and JR, and Fudge and Braverman have partnered up quite a bit here in 2024, and they're a force to be reckoned with, Chad. So for Barr and Carvajal Lane, what do they need to do in order to sort of rattle a duo that is hard to rattle? Well, we've seen Fudge and Braverman come out and, and kind of have two different play styles. One, they're going to come out, and they're... they're very aggressive. They're they're driving balls. They're speeding balls up whenever they get the opportunity. And then we've also seen the more composed, controlled Fudge and Braverman where they move that ball around well. So if Fudge and Braverman come out and, and they're playing aggressive, Carvajal Lane and, and Barr need to be ready for that counter. They need to get on top of the ball, get the ball down to the feet, and really force Fudge and Braverman to be hitting from down up. If Fudge and Braverman come out and they're a little bit more patient moving that ball around, then that's a, the time where Barr and Carvajal Lane need to take their opportunity to speed some balls up, trying to elevate something, create that pop-up. Barr's going to use that lob in conditions like this. Oh, that ball. We may get a challenge on the very first point of the game. Here's another look at that one, and that ball certainly very close to skirting the baseline. That that one I'll give you the, the pinky width. Thank AJ. you. I was mocked last week for apparently thinking <laughs> a ball was much closer to the sideline than it was, but I stand by it, and that one, Carvajal Use Lane, the net. gets a little help off the net. I don't know. That could have been... Hey, the net's there. Use it. Exactly. So side out here, first chance for Barr and Carvajal Lane to get on the board. Second serve. Yeah, it's a good counter there from Carvajal Lane. Just gets a little Zero too big two. on that second backhand. Side out. That time not getting as much help off the net is Glauca. So well, it'll be a side out. Yeah, and, and Carvajal Lane's the, the most 
inexperienced on the court. So she's definitely going to be the target here. Second serve. And it's, it, it can be a good and bad thing for her as far as she's One going zero. to see a lot of balls, but it's also going to help her to kind of find a rhythm if she can. Wind really picking up here in the middle of this point. Some great digs in the middle of that by Susanna Barr. Great resets, but Fudge and Braverman get the point. Yeah, and Fudge and Braverman are coming out and being aggressive here. And you see a good job from Megan Fudge getting on top of those balls, hitting it from high to low to bar. So each time it keeps coming up. And even right there, it started off where Braverman a little bit out of position, pops the ball up. But then just by staying in that point, they then flip it and are able to bring it back linear and then change it around. So it's their defense that is very, very tough to beat as well there for Braverman and Fudge. Side out here, Bar and Carvajal Lane with the ball and a chance to get on the board here in this first game. It is going to be Glauco with the serve. Ooh, got away with one. Again, Braveman pops the ball up there, but she instantly goes to defense mode, and she's ready to counter the attack from Kavahal Lane. Wow, the wind picked up on that one. Took the serve and then took the return from Fudge. That ball just kept sailing almost three, four feet deep. Chance here for Barr and Carvajal Lane to tie things up. Oh, that ball second left serve. just a little bit short off the paddle of Carvajal Lane. So it's second serve here. Susanna Barr with two, it. Three, two. Just wide there from Bar. And she wants that one back exactly where she wanted it. Just pushes it wide. Here's another look. Yeah, she set it up well. Got on the attack first. And then saw the opening down the line behind Braverman, but just hit across the body. So instead, it's a side out and a chance here for Fudge and Braverman to extend their lead. Ooh. And they do. Just kissing the edge of the sideline there is that ball, and it's 4-2. Here's another look. Yeah, Braverman fights this one off, gets into the body, just blocks it. Yes. It's enough angle to get past Carvajal Lane. Four, two, one. Yeah. Second serve. Yeah, good job there from Barr, continuing the attack. High to low. Second serve here for Megan Fudge. Side out. So good defense there by Barr and Carverhall Lane as they allow Two, Braverman and Fudge just a single point. And now a chance to cut down the lead. Second serve. Uh, you can hear the wind in those on-court mics. Just pushing that ball around a little bit there. Two, four, two. Bar with the second serve. Oh, this wind is wreaking havoc on championship court Side right out. now, but it's Fudge and Braverman who managed to handle it. Well, even, even on the dinks, this wind is, is pushing yeah. the ball around. Like we, we typically will see it off of the drives, the drops, those balls that are traveling further. But right now, just a dink is moving around so much. Second serve. <laughs> Susanna Barr with a big sigh after that one. Well defended point. Second serve here for Braverman. Side out. 
<laughs> I'm waiting sorry. to see if that's your pretzel. So, sorry, no, that's not the that's pretzel. A, the, that was just a, that was a half scorpion right there. Half scorpion from Good Susanna boy. Barr. <laughs> I was, sorry, I was laughing at your emotion right there. Well, I was I was mimicking. I know. Making I know. sure got the name right because sometimes I wouldn't have known what a pretzel was until you told me last weekend. Oh, no, I just made that up last week. But Susanna Barr Yeah, I just made that up last week. Exactly. Second serve here for Susanna Barr and Glauca Carvajal Lane. Barr with it. A uh, good spot there from Carvajal Lane. Great took attack. That, yeah, took that ball cross court from Fudge and went right into the body. Right there, cross body on Jill Braveman. She was sitting ever so slightly to the forehand. Got a little help off the net. Bar on One, the two. attack and again gets the... Help off the net, but right down the middle, and it's a tie game. Yeah, back in to forehand speed up there for Bart. Again, it's a one-two combination. Anytime that you speed up, you always have to anticipate that ball's going to come back. You're ready for the next one. Side out. Where a lot of players get in trouble is they speed a ball up. They anticipate that it's a winner, and then they're caught by that counter. 4-4-1. Four, 4-4-1, four, 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 Megan Fudge with the serve. Nice Second spot serve. there from Barr. Barr doing a good job of stepping into the middle and really picking her moments to Four, attack. Two. Second serve here. Five. Oh, Point. she was on it, but the two-handed backhand just short. Without wind, that ball goes chest high. With wind, Bar hits it and it just drops straight into the net. Good pressure there from Fudge and Braverman. Five, four, two. So it's a 5-4 lead here for Braverman Point. and Fudge. Make it six as yeah. they continue to rack up some points on their second serve. So it just six, catches four, the two. back of the baseline. Another big serve there from Braverman. So three quick points in a row for Braverman and Fudge. Seven, Say four, one two. more, we get a timeout from Barr and Kalahal Lane. Carvajal Lane doing a good job getting that ball back over the net. Just miss, miss hit, miss <laughs> swing. I'm not sure what happened there with Fudge. Yeah. I don't know if it just moved a little bit or, or what it was. Or the wind even just slowed it down off of that Either paddle way. there of Carvajal Lane. Either way, it's a side out and a chance here for Carvajal Lane and Susanna Barr to cut back into this Second lead. Serve. Barr getting a little too big, pushes that ball deep. Second serve. Susanna Barr with the second four, serve, seven, trailing 4-7-2. Barr steps in and, oh, that ball called out well, by Braverman. We're going to get a challenge in this one. Susanna immediately saying, I would like to challenge that. She can because it is a line call and it ended the rally. Here's another, another look at it. This is the ball that's well, that one's close. It may, looks like it may be in. That the score one. Is four, seven, two. We will proceed to video review. So we're going to take another look at that one. An important one here for Susanna Barr and Glauco Carvajal Lane. And 
Here's a look at our officials here for this women's doubles semifinal. Lead referee Laura Smart, tracking referee Diane Unitic, and video referee Bob Badcock here at the APP Dallas Open. So they'll take another look at this ball called out. Yeah, that looks like it's on the inside part of the line right there. Just pushed down enough by the wind. So great job by our video officials to catch that ball here and we'll get an official review in just a moment. We talked about the dominance of Fudge and Braverman, Chad. They're up 7-4 here in this first game, coming off of a gold medal together at the APP Women's Open, the inaugural APP Women's Open in Columbus, Ohio, which was a really special event, honoring all the work that the James Center does for treating cancer patients and advancing cancer research and celebrating women in this sport. So those two clearly carry some momentum here into Dallas. But Barr and Carvajal Lane holding their own here in game number one. What have they been able to do to find a little bit of a rhythm? Well, they've, Barr and Carvajal Lane, have, uh, more specifically Barr, has taken the init initiative to speed some of the balls up. So, again, we've talked about it quite often that if you're playing against a team that likes to play aggressive, you have to be aggressive first and really look to kind of take the opportunity while it's there. If you don't, then you're almost playing defense all the time. All the time, And, and that's where you have to look at those counters. As we see right there, it looks like that ball is right on the inside part of the line. So as long as it catches any part of the line, it is ruled in. So oh, getting what? some clarification here <laughs> from our officials. The score was 7-4, ball called out. So if, so if the ball were to stay called out, it would be 7-4-2. But if it's called in, then it's actually 7-5-1. So why I'm, why I'm laughing right there is... Video referee is right next to us. Video referee is calling it in. The head referee said call on the court stands, and then the video referees were like, yelling over, like, no, 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 no. We called that ball in, so now we're just getting getting the uh, the skull <laughs> resituated right now. Fudge and Braverman hanging, hiding in the review, shade here. <laughs> the call was overturned. The ball was in. The score is 5-7-2 with Susanna serving. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to All reset right, we're here, 5-7-2. It's going to be Susanna Barr with the serve, trailing by two here in this first game. Time in. 5-7-2. Back in play. Oh, she was all Side over out. it. Carvajal Lane just getting a little too turned with the body right there. The swing was short enough, but the hips rotated, so that ball got Seven, five, back one. behind the hip. So it'll be a side out here. Braverman with it. First serve, and then another little help off the net cord. It's past the paddle of Fudge. Second serve. And again, you can hear the court mic picking up the wind here in Rockwall, Texas. Great finish there by Glauca Carvajal Lane to force the side out. Here's another look. Two-handed backhand. She delivers. Second serve. Second serve after Susanna's bar's forehand went just into the top of the net. 572. 572, Glauco with the serve. Mm, bar just getting 
A little bit wild right there with those swings. You all heard Braveman yelling to Fudge to let the previous ball go. So it'll be a side Seven, out one. here. Point. So Zana Bar's return is short. So it's an 8-5 lead here for Braverman and Fudge. 8-5-1. Grave Second finish serve. there from Susanna Barr. Keeps her feet out of the kitchen. Second serve. 8-5-2, Megan Fudge with the second serve. Yeah, good job there from Carvajal Lane. Just to stay nice and compact, get that down to the feet, and then Bar is there to finish after that ball comes back up off the paddle of Fudge, right in the body of Braverman. Ball left just short off the paddle of Susanna Barr. So it'll be Carvajal Lane with the Five second serve. Speed up there from Carvajal Lane right down the middle splits Braver Braverman and Fudge for the point. Yeah, good control point right here. Carvajal Lane moving the ball around well. And you see her yeah! just reach in nice and controlled, nice and composed. Flicks that one right through the middle. So that ball sails, wa sails deep, excuse me, and Barr and Carvajal Lane saying that it did not touch either of them. Megan Fudge contending timeout that it receivers. did. So a timeout called on the court by Fudge and Braverman. Seven, it's a seven, One eight. Minute. It's an eight seven lead for Braverman and Fudge. Here's another look at the ball that Megan Fudge was saying clipped bar. Mm, hard to see that. You're not really seeing any change of direction. Well, and the reality is, even if there was if, video uh, evidence, uh, you can't challenge it's it. It's not anyway. a challengeable call. Yeah. So Barr saying it did not hit her, and is. But but I think even if if with that it would have hit the paddle, right. so you would have seen more change in directional deflection of that ball. It seemed to go in a straight line. So a timeout called on the court gives us a chance to tell you a little bit about how UTR has unveiled the official pickleball rating system of USA Pickleball and the APP. Get your rating today at utrsports.net. So out of the timeout here, a chance for Barr and Carvajal Lane to tie things up here in this first game, and it is going to be Glauca Carvajal Lane with the serve. So there was some hesitation there. Kavahal Lane, there was a ball midpoint where she should have taken it out of the air. She let it bounce and it got tight to the body. And that's what started the whole pop up and then the attack there from Fudge and Braverman. 8 7 1. The score for Braverman and Fudge. Chance to extend their lead. 
But Second instead, serve. great job by Susanna Barr getting that ball down. Second serve. It's going to be Jill Braverman with the second serve there. 8-7-2. Eight, seven, two. Eight, seven, two. Oh. Over. Uh. Good get there by Claudia uh. Carvajal Lane. <laughs> and just, oh my goodness. Susanna Barr and Carvajal Lane come out on the winning end. Another look here. So Gamma lived to play point of the match. And right here, the hand exchange. So impressively done by these two teams. And what a spot from Susanna Barr. When we bring you back to live action, they just continue this momentum and tie us up at 8-all. 8-8-1. 8-8-1 still on their first serve. Bar with it. Kabahal oh, Lane just going on the offensive. You said it at the beginning of this match, Chad, that she knew yep. she was the one with the Time least experience here on one, championship one court. She was going to be targeted. And had oh, she oh, risen oh, to oh, the oh, challenge, a timeout called on the court by Fudge and Braverman as Barr and Carvajal Lane take a 9-8 lead here in this first game. Best two out of three to 11 to decide who earns a spot in our gold medal match. Well, they take a breather. We're going to get a word from Aura. It's hard to find supplements that work. No, thank you. You need supplements that are backed by science with natural and plant-based ingredients and that are third-party tested. Because cleaner is better. Like Aura Organic. Plant-based supplements made from the Earth's most powerful plants for your immune health, gut health, workouts, and more. Find out more at AuraOrganic.com. Back to women's doubles action here at the APP Dallas Open. Taking a live look at Glauca Carvajal Lane, who has helped her and her teammate Susanna Barr get a 9 8 lead here in this first game. Glauca, originally from Castellon, Spain, and her family is from Madrid. And here's your fun fact, Chad. She did eight years of Mandarin in school. So both her and Susanna Dang. Barr, linguists. Susanna Barr learning Arabic. I can barely speak English. That's too much of a softball for me to go ahead and dunk on you with. <laughs> Let's go back to live action, shall we? Yeah, that one just deep. Wind kind of died down for a little bit there. So it's a second serve now, and it is going to be Carvajal Lane with it. 982. Great attack there from Susanna Barr and Carvajal Lane. Another look at the point that sets up a game point opportunity. And Carvajal Lane has made a big adjustment since the beginning of this game right here where she was getting a little big with those take backs. Now she's really focusing on staying in front, taking those balls early, getting on top.
great that one. spot there. Jill Braverman with all the power through the middle to defend the first game point. Get the ball back on their side. Yeah, that one not as good of a job there from Carvajal Lane. A better job there by Jill Braverman being the one to get on top. Great job, Susanna Barr, stepping over, taking that ball out of the air and finds the middle on the other side. So second serve here for Braverman and Fudge. Eight ten two. Eight ten two. Braverman with the serve. Susanna Barr with the big forehand finish <laughs> at the paddle of Braverman. Here's another look at why Chad's well, laughing over there because I mean, Braverman loses her paddle. Excellent control there from all four players moving that ball around, but Barr sees the opportunity to step over. Goes right at the right hip of Braverman. So another game point opportunity here for Carvajal Lane and Susanna Barr. That Second time serve. Fudge with a great angle taken on that forehand. Will third time be the charm for Carvajal Lane and Susanna Barr to finish off this first game? It's going to be Susanna Barr with the second serve. Side out. That ball left just a little short off the paddle, a little tentative, Chad. And now it's going to be Braverman and Fudge with a chance to cut into this lead yet again. Well, you can't give Braverman and Fudge too many opportunities to fight their way back in. No, this duo is well practiced. Has won quite a bit together here on the APP Tour. That ball sailing deep and it's a 9-10 score here on championship court in the first game of our women's doubles semifinal. Nine, ten, one. Oh, a little miscommunication. Fudge was sliding to the left to hit that forehand. Braveman sliding over for the forehand as well. So it'll be a second serve here. Jill Braverman with it. And there you have it, Megan Fudge and Jill Braverman have tied things up here in this first game, defended three game points from Barr and Carvajal Lane, and now have a chance to regain the lead. And they do on a big serve from Jill Braverman. Timeout called on the court. Yeah, another big serve there from Braverman. We saw a big serve at 9-10. That put them in a good position. Now here... Going up 11 10, and like I said, you can't give Braveman and Fudge opportunities to get themselves back in. Here's another look at the big serve from Braverman that set up this game point. Oh, excuse me, this yeah, that is was that the was the 9 before. 10. Sorry, but again, the, the big, the big deep serve puts them in such a good position because it creates that shorter return. Well, and exactly what you're talking about, Chad, is, is Megan and Jill are so experienced. And if you, it's almost like the, if you give a mouse a cookie, you know, like if mm -hmm. you give them a little bit, they're going to take, they're going to take everything that they possibly <laughs> can because they are so experienced. They've won together often. Here's another look at just the dynamic nature of play between Fudge and Braverman. So a game point opportunity here. 15 seconds. Receivers, servers, no timeout. 
seconds remaining. Joe Braverman Davis and Megan out. Fudge have controlled this game for the majority of it. It wasn't until the ninth point that Susanna Barr and Carvajal Lane were able to get a lead, but now it is Braverman and Fudge with the game point opportunity. And off the paddle of Susanna Barr, that ball into the net. So it's a 12-10 game one win for Megan Fudge and Jill Braverman. What a battle. That is our good idea. Game point as Jill Braverman and Megan Fudge get it done. Yeah, and again, just a little bit of hesitation on those last couple of points from Ba. And they gave, it only took one game point for Fudge and Braveman to take this one. So game two, when we come back to women's doubles live action at the APP Dallas Open. People play pickleball for exercise, competition, or to hang out with friends. What your reason is doesn't matter to Gamma. What matters is that you play, that you enjoy playing with passion, and you have so much fun you can't wait to play again. At Gamma, we offer paddles perfect for all levels, including yours, because pickleball is about you, the player, and what feels right. Pickleball is your game. Make Gamma your paddle. Play to live. Live to play. Gamma Pickleball. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. years from today, Greg Gerstner will finally land the perfect cannonball. Unsuspecting friends? Check. Epic water displacement? Big check. A work of art that's only possible because Greg is already meeting all these same people at AARP volunteer and community events. They'll keep Greg active, involved, and mischievous, and help make sure his happiness lives as long as he does. That's why the younger you are, the more you need AARP. Welcome back to the APP Dallas Open. We've got a good one here on Championship Court. Game number one of our first women's doubles semifinal goes the way of Jill Braverman and Megan Fudge. Susanna Barr and Glauca Carvajal Lane putting up a fight though. And now game two underway. It is going to be Carvajal Lane with the serve. Well, I'll say we're probably going to see Fudge and Braveman be a little bit more aggressive here. Now they're going into the win. Not that they weren't aggressive in game one, but they have the opportunity to really come out and put some pressure on right now. See it on display in that point. Patience pays off for Fudge and Braverman. Oh, Braverman's on the court. Recovers quickly. Just Second out of bounds serve. off the paddle of Fudge. 
So pushes them onto their second serve. One zero two, the score zero, for Braverman. Two. And a big third off the paddle of Braverman to make it two nothing. Two zero two. Two zero two. Point. And again, just a little short off the paddle of Carvajal Lane. Well, that was a such, such a tough ball that Fudge picked up right there. Hit it off the back foot, weight falling back. Somehow able to keep Three, that zero, ball three. down. Braverman fakes, <laughs> fakes the swing, pulls down the swing as soon as Fudge calls for it. Ball sails deep. Here's another look. <laughs> oh, she took a full swing at it. <laughs> no, she tried to pull it down there as soon as she heard well, Fudge. That, was, that was a full swing. That was a full swing. <laughs> Side out. Braverman coming across the court to try and get that ball over the net, just into the top of it instead, so it'll be a side out. Carvajal Lane and Susanna Barr with a chance to get on the board here in this second game. After losing game one, they must win Second game serve. two if they want a chance. I was about to say, if, and, if possible, the wind has gotten stronger yeah. and Carvajal Lane just served right with a big wind Zero, gust. Four, so it sails deep, second serve, Barr with it. Side out. And man, this wind is just wreaking some havoc because it's not just that it's gotten stronger, it's that it is gusting here on championship court. So side out, Megan Fudge with the second serve. Little help off the net. Pushing Fudge and Braverman onto their second serve. 4-0-2. 4-0-2, Braverman with it. Finish there. So another side out and good defensive hold there by Carvajal Lane and Susanna Barr. Get the ball back on their side. Chance to get some points on the board here in this second game. Good second get there third. by Braverman and then into the body of Susanna Barr off the paddle of Megan Fudge. Second serve. Four, four, two. The end of the paddle there, Cabajal Lane. Here's another look at that one. You can see it just. Here it comes off the edge guard of Carvajal Lane. And I know we keep talking about it, but there's a lot of wind <laughs> gusting there at is. different times throughout this play. And so I feel like we've seen that become a factor a few times here in this second game. There's been a little bit of hesitation from Kabahal Lane the last few points. I saw her really start to build confidence late in that first game, but right now Fudge and Braverman are showing their experience and their poise here as they continue to extend this lead here in game number two. That drop just literally dropped off the table there from Braverman. Comes out and you see how much movement that wind is creating. Just exaggerating the amount of spin on the ball. 
So it's a timeout called here on the court by Carvajal Lane and Susanna Barr. They trail 6 nothing here in this second game, a game they must win if they want to force us to a decisive game three and keep their hopes alive of punching their ticket to the gold medal match. While they take a timeout, gives us a chance to talk about the women's singles action we had here at the APP Dallas Open. Yana Newell coming through and winning her first gold in women's singles of the year. Yeah, ended up, uh, she lost the first game to Simone Jiajing and then made the adjustment in games two and three. And Jiajing just could not keep up with the power and the court coverage of Yana Newell. She's made some deeper runs here uh, throughout the season, but a fantastic effort on Thursday from Yana. There's a look at all the players who have already locked in their gold medals here from the APP Dallas Open and men's singles. Congratulations to Chris Hayworth, who has been a stalwart on championship court in men's singles in 2024. And here's a look at him. He told me at the end of 2023, I'm going to treat this season like a proper professional offseason. And look at that, Chad, his sixth, I believe, gold medal in men's singles yep. in 2024. Yeah, when you talk about an off-season, we finished the last tournament in December, yep. uh, like right around the 7th or 8th, yeah, right. and then and then we were back at it like the 15th of January. Yep. So a, a month, month. <laughs> is the off-season. What a pro. Pro's pro. And then, of course, in mixed doubles, you saw Megan Fudge and Jack Monroe bringing home the gold. Megan Fudge on court now with her partner, Jill Braverman, in women's doubles, trying to secure a spot to give herself an opportunity to bring home a second gold from here in Dallas. And her and Braverman just keep building their lead. Yeah, good spot there from Braverman. Takes that crossbody on Carvajal Lane. You see her trying to slide to the right to clear that backhand, but the ball just kept following up. Second serve. Good leave there by Susanna Barr as that ball sails deep. So it's a second serve. Jill Braverman with it. 7-0-2. Yeah, good out. reach over there from Bob, taking control there at the kitchen line. So it'll be a side out here. Glauca Carvajal Lane and Susanna Barr with a chance to get on the board here in this second game. 0-7-1. Carvajal Lane with the serve. Jill Second Braverman serve. doing a great job to get on top of that ball, get it down, and pushing Barr and Carvajal Lane onto their second serve. Zero, seven, two. Great spot there, Carvajal Lane with a little bit of a mid-pace speed up, finds a spot in the middle, gets him on the board. Well, you notice every time that Fudge and Brayman get into trouble, it's when they're just bumping balls back. They're not doing anything with it. They're not re really manipulating any spin or putting any pressure on. Stepping over into the middle, finds a spot, gets a point. And that was a much better move there by Carvajal Lane. You see her slide more to that right to really clear the backhand. And as that slide happens, Bar slides over with the forehand to cover that hole. Side out. Had the sitter on the paddle, just got a little locked with the wrist. So they get two back, but it is now Braverman and Fudge who have a chance to extend their lead here in this second game. Good get there from Barr. Mm. Carvajal <laughs> Lane trying to cover in the middle. Two-handed backhand just a little low. Here's another look. 
Cavajal Lane screaming at Barr right here to get up and get this ball. And then Braveman hits it back into the vacant hole. Cavajal Lane tried to slide over, but just could not cover enough court. Quickly get there oh. from Megan Fudge. And that time, Carvajal Lane leaves it up, and it sails deep. Yeah, good get here from Fudge. Fully extended. Carvajal Lane tries to do the same thing back that Braveman did to her and Bob, but just cooked it too long. Braveman playing from one knee in the middle of that point, but then she got stuck in the same position, and you see her telling herself that she's got to get back up to the kitchen line That Second serve, Megan Fudge with it. Point. And that ball just sails off the paddle of Susanna Barr and sets up a match point opportunity here for Megan Fudge and Jill Braverman. They can punch their ticket to the women's doubles gold medal match with this serve. And they get it done. Fudge Jill Braverman and Megan Fudge were well, just well, well, relentless well, in that second game to lock in their Megan spot in the women's Braverman. doubles gold they medal match. Yeah, and like we talked about in game one, you can't give Fudge and Braverman any opportunity to get back in. So Barr and Carvajal Lane ended up giving away three game points there. And then in game two, Braverman and Fudge just came out inserted power and never took their foot off the accelerator. So women's semifinal number two when we come back to the APP Dallas Open. clear fulfill is a protein bar not a candy bar don't let its creamy chocolatey goodness confuse you or the fact that you hide them from anyone with a sweet tooth you saw nothing i saw nothing fulfill we swear it's a protein bar Take a look at our Zimmer Biomet recovery moment of the match. And Fudge and Braverman, after escaping a couple of game points in game one, they just really came out in game two, put the pressure on Ba and Carvajal Lane, and they never let up. Moving the ball around the court, finding the openings, and stepping up and putting that pressure so it'll be, it'll be Fudge and Braverman moving on to our gold medal match here in Dallas. And we're going to throw it down to A.J. McCord, who's courtside for our Franklin post-match interview. Thanks so much, Chad. Wow. Megan and Jill, here we are again on championship court doing an interview because you guys are a duo that just seems to find a way to win when you need to. What did you lean on in that first game to defend three game points and then come out and win the game yourselves? 
I think the biggest thing was our fight. Um, you know, the wind conditions here is super tough. They played uh, a great game, and uh, we just had to make adjustments and just dig in. I kept on saying to her, I might not be playing my best, but I'm out here to go to fight, and I'm not going to give up on the ball. So, um, And I just trust her flying in and uh, sweeping up. And Jill, it's something that we saw in game two is trusting that fight to where you didn't you establish that dominance in that game much earlier. How does that give you confidence going into the gold medal match? Oh, well, with Megan, even when things aren't going well, it's always all good. We always find a way. We never give up. So uh, it sounds weird, but I was like, never a doubt, you know, <laughs> never a doubt. So, yeah, lots of confidence going into the gold. Really excited about it. Congratulations. We'll see you both then. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll have women's semifinal number two when we come back at the APP Dallas Open.